thing will be interest-free payments for you. We'll ship it to you after your very first payment. All right. Well, the king is away. The empress will play. So Guy is away, so I'm sitting on his throne. Um, don't tell him. He's busy cooking with Michael Simon. But I just wanted to tell you about our regal and royal today's special from Joan Boyce. It's called the Live and Love Together two-piece bracelet set. It's $59.95 for so many gorgeous diamond-like crystals. You really can hardly believe it. Look at that rose tone. And that rose tone is with rose tone crystals. It is absolutely beautiful. It looks Looks like beautiful pink diamond and then the silver tone as well there's the gold tone and silver because you're getting two each one will come with a silver tone and then you just choose your secondary color whether it's hematite tone and silver rose tone and silver silver and silver or the gold and silver and they're very adjustable so I'm actually wearing the silver and silver option and if I want to take it off or I want to adjust it all I do is Pull on this, there you go. No, nothing to clasp or need. And you know what that's, that means? I'm gonna be able to hold the fork while I go into the kitchen and eat what Michael Simon is cooking with Guy. All right, everybody, welcome in. I'm Guy, I'm back. Uh, I'm with the lovely Liz Simon, Michael Simon, Hello. this team, okay. this amazing team. Uh, that we, and we are so glad that you guys finally joined the family because we've been watching you on TV for years. We know yeah. you've been, you're such a huge part of everything that Michael does yeah. uh, in the kitchen, designing cookware and stuff like that. But we're really excited to have you guys. And, Thank you. and Michael has, a, 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 and his wife have a beautiful line of, of uh, basically cookware, home, home items, uh, cutlery, stuff like that, that's called Simon Home. Um, we'd love to hear from you. This is the first time you guys have been back. Yeah, this is our second time. We're very excited. Yeah, yes. so so really excited to, to show you stuff. And what I love about what these guys do is they add great style. Michael obviously knows the, the durability, the cookware. Uh, Liz puts in that they all, you know, also has to be functional, has to look nice in the kitchen as well. Right. Uh, we're going to start you off with a uh, four and a half quart enameled cast iron oval Dutch oven. And Michael, I asked you before, what? and just just real quick, <laughs> yeah. we're going to show you something. But while you're doing that, why did you why did you want to do uh, enameled? Uh, you know, a cast iron cookware, well, first of all. When Liz and I were talking about it, we're like, the, the, the cookware that we use the most at home yeah. was cast enamel. You yeah. know, so it, it's what we always cook in. It's, it wasn't always super affordable for people, so we right. wanted to make it. Liz got a great design together, great colors, and, and really how we wanted them to look. Um, but right. then she also wanted to get that great design yeah. with it. And, and, and it, it's so much more affordable than you see cast enamel typically. It, well, it is. And you just spent a fortune. It's, Michael's got something it's, in, it's, in the it's, oven. It's, it's, well, I'm making a little bit of chicken and dumplings oh here. Oh my gosh. For your morning. Pleasure. You know, when I think of cast iron, that's the kind of food I think about. But you can pretty much cook anything in you cast can. iron, right? You can. Um, we're going to show you all kinds of fun things today. Okay. But um, this is just a real easy roux, chicken, dumpling, yeah. uh, vegetables. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Just for a little bit of color before I put throw this lid on. Throw some peas in there. Throw some peas on. This is this is great too because you can take it. You can do this all stove top, right. or you can um, actually finish this in the oven once you get the dumplings in. It's really versatile. And then take it right to your table. Yeah. And it's going to hold the heat. It's, it's beautiful at holding the heat. One of the great things about cast iron, Michael, yeah, what do you right. got there? Well, this is what makes it so special, is like Liz said, you could start on the stove, you could go to the oven, you could go to the table, and you could leave them out even when you're not cooking them because right. they're beautiful. So what I made for you is it's a little kind of like breakfast hash brown. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we got potatoes, we have zucchini, we have some oh beautiful uh, hash mean. browns on the bottom and fresh herbs. <laughs> now look, oh, see, yeah. here's wow. the beautiful beautiful yeah, thing though that. about cast <laughs> enamel is you can see how it slides right out yeah so cleanup is a cinch too and now i gotta feed you because yeah, you know I know. You're looking a little gaunt to I me. Know. We've known each other for a while. You're thinner than I'd like. I feel a little lean so, right yeah, now. So I, I haven't had good Michael Simon snack. food in about 10 years since <laughs> I, I, I mean, the last time we did a TV show together. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah. Let me try to scoop some up here. Well, and this is great, too, because it almost works wow. a little bit. It reacts a little bit like a nonstick pan without being a nonstick pan. So, you uh -huh. know, and it, it, you mm. can beat this up. It is not. It's a forever pan. It's yeah, you get it for a lifetime. Pass, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and look at this. See, here's the other thing. This wow. is why we love cast enamel. That's why chefs love cast enamel. 
is Beautiful. you get the great caramelization. Yeah. You know, and you know, and it releases. So people always go, what's the, I know, I need a nonstick, I need a nonstick, I need this, I need that. The, the beautiful thing about cast enamel is it releases like a nonstick, yeah. but you get caramelization that you could never get in any other pan other than a cast iron cast enamel pan because it heats yep. so evenly. This is a four and a half quart size. We were discussing ahead of time why we love that size because for our customer, you know, maybe you're an empty nester, you and your partner, you and your wife or husband, you know, you don't need a 10 quart or an eight quart that you may only use a couple times a year at holiday. Right. You want something that you're going to use on a daily basis. And not only that, an eight quart or 10 quart, you need three people to haul that thing around exactly. the house. This is still uh, easy to be able to move around. It's got helper handles built yep. into it. Um, Liz, talk to me about the design element of it. Why do we go oval? Well, I like, I like the oval presentation. One, it's, it's an easier storage right. component. You know, yeah. you can do, it, it takes up a little less space. I just aesthetically like the oval shape, yeah. especially in this size. Um, you know, it's got I this think a lot of food is oval, oval too. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, know square food, right? right? Exactly. You know, it's either round or oval. I so. mean, <laughs> this is great just on your table. I actually yeah. have this blue color at home, and I also have the taupe. It's beautiful. But I'm, I'm going to go through the out. colors. I'm going to yeah. go through the colors in just a bit. But I, 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 I know that because I've known about Michael for a long, long time. You know, uh, cook, some cookware can be really tough to cook with. You know, if you get cookware where the where the uh, the base is too thin, or it's a, a different type of metal doesn't work on all stoves and you're kind of you're kind of fighting the battle right out of the gate exactly. what's nice about this cookware and michael is so and, and liz are so right on it it's a heavier weight cookware mm -hmm. why is that good because it retains the heat you, oh, you, you don't get it's not uneven cooking yeah. it's heavy right. cooking and i mean right. this is great because you could use it on electric you could use it on induction you could use it on gas yeah i take them outside and i put them on my grill not? because yeah. they're so dependable you mm -hmm. could cook them on the grill so it's really a pan that you could do everything in and again you could it's a one I'm a one pan man. Yeah. So yeah, dude. the nice the thing I love about the oval is like Liz said, yeah. it aesthetically it's beautiful and it's a little bit easier to store, but you can get more food in a four and a half quart than maybe a different right. shape. Yeah. Right. You know, I, so I could load it up. And also put the, lid the on, coloration stick it in the that we did for the interior, uh -huh. this sort of dark, dark, deep gray, it, you know, one, it's not gonna react to anything acidic. It also is not going to stain. If you do a tomato right. sauce in here, you're right. not going to get that staining that you would in a lighter colored. Right. Base. Yeah, we've all had we've had the cast enamel pans with the lighter inside. You make a tomato sauce, you yeah. never get it out. Right. It's mine. I have right. a big yeah. I have a big ten quart red cast enamel pan, with and it used to be white on the interior, and now it's, now it's all red. It's like an orangey <laughs> red color on the inside. Yeah. Um, uh, and you'll notice exactly. too something when you're browning. Um, you can use a lower temperature heat because once this gets up to temperature. It holds on to it. You don't have to keep it on high the whole time you like you do right, with right. a lot of other pans. And Michael, explain the difference between this cast iron and maybe the cast iron that Grandma had. All right. So, like the cast iron that you know we all I we have tons of those pans that we've saved sure. that we season. Yeah. You know, but those pans you you use them, then you season them, then you rub them with oil. You know, this right. is don't a, soak them in water. Don't yeah, don't put <laughs> them in water. Right. Right. There's a lot of rules. Yeah. So these are. Um, enamel coated so they have the cast iron through it then they're enamel coated so you don't have to worry about the staining you don't have right. to reseason them you don't have to rub them with oil bake them right. in the oven all that kind of stuff right. and you could put them in your sink clean them with soapy water they're dishwasher safe they're so perfect. there's a lot of things right. that you could do with them. they are i think cast iron i agree with you the most versatile when i have to cook a real meal like something that i'm that i want to come out perfect every time not a instant meal like sometimes you're frying an egg you're not going to fry one egg in this thing well you but could but it, it would could. have to be a big egg it would have to Maybe be a, a goose egg ostrich egg perhaps something <laughs> some sort of an emu or something. But you, you wouldn't use it for that. You're going to use this for those great uh, family uh, meals and, and, right. and things like, you know what I'd love too is that you could do, think about it, you could do what not only what we're doing, for like one pot dish is like lasagna you're doing here, right? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm thinking any sort of a whole chicken dish you could do. Oh, yeah, do we have, the, uh, Liz, mac why don't you go, go show them the dessert you oh, have yeah, brewing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like Liz yeah. has, actually, she likes to bake in it. So yeah. it's great because you could do savory in it, you could bake in it, you could do all these great things in it. She made a chocolate cake. It, it's the most versatile. And again, these are designed, and, we're, and uh, Liz and I will walk over and show you the colors in a sec. They're designed so that you can take these out and put them on the table. You want to see this. It's beautiful. It's hearty cookware. Kind of reminds me of like old school. Uh, it has kind of old school, but with all the new technology to make right. it user friendly. Well, I mean, the thing that, the, you know, when you buy a pan, Inside you here. when uh, you buy a pan, you want the pan to last forever. Yeah. You know, look at this. Okay. Oh my now gosh. this is, right a cake? is a gorgeous little chocolate cake, which I'm going to finish. Now this is all, you know, one pan deal here. 
so. She pokes them whole, so she puts the cake in there, yeah. bakes it right in the oven. Now she's poking the holes in it. Why are you poking the holes in it? Because there's going to be a lovely little chocolate sauce. <laughs> are those holes going to be a little vessel for something exactly. that I'm going to be? Exactly. Some other. Exactly. Oh, come on. Look at this. Look at, you know what? Chocolate needs more chocolate. More chocolate. <laughs> That's what chocolate needs. So we're just going to, this is just going to fall in all those little holes. Oh, my gosh. Looks and crannies. Hey, by the way, I want to remind everybody, I have Michael Simon's cookbook as well. Uh, that's his Playing With Fire cookbook. Uh, wonderful barbecue ideas in there. You've seen uh, Michael's show, uh, which is Burgers Brewed. Burgers Brewed, okay, we have that fun. That is awesome I show. I eat entirely too much food. <laughs> we run it all over the place. Anyway, he's got great ideas oh, there. Oh, God, look Liz, at you're that. you're killing me I here. Mean, I mean, right? You're killing myself. So this is the breakfast of champions right it here. Is. Yeah. But again, a, like uh, instead of a spring form, <laughs> I love this because it's scoop, right? Yeah. yeah, you can just scoop it right out. And so this is great to have, like, oh, we have uh, company. Lord. And yeah, turn there you that go, bro. Oh, no, this yeah. is for you. Get in there. Warm oh chocolate gosh. cake with whipped cream. See, Oops, and, it, and it'll cook perfectly because of that nice, heavy duty cast material that's in there. You're not going to burn it. So, if you want to do a big, giant thing of brownies, or if you want to do an upside down cake, or, a, or a, you know, one of those. Right. Right. Yeah. And again, look at how oh it, it just so releases good. right out. That's just. Yeah. It's ridiculous, right? I could leave you guys and just Can go I? eat this, but I can't. Yeah. You want to walk over and we'll show them colors too? I would love to. All right. sure. Colors, all right. We're going to go over. So, Liz, uh, explain to me, because Michael did a little bit, how you guys work as a team, because I love that whole idea. Well, you know, we started working in the restaurant business many years ago. Yeah. And this is just, you know, we just, we have specific duties and responsibilities. Yeah. And talents. <laughs> and talents. <laughs> um, so we just, we collaborate well together. It's perfect. And I know you you have, uh, you work in the restaurants and do a lot of the design element for the right. restaurants. You also help Michael with the design element and, and creating of the cookware too. Right. Um, so uh, this has, this is a unique finish on this. What have we got it here? It does. It's just got a little bit of a shimmer, just a touch, um, you kind know, of a speckle, a sparkle. sparkle. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it looks really pretty. I'd be actually leave this out of my stovetop because it's, it's not so big and cumbersome. Oh my gosh, it's and beautiful. It's just and and you're at your holiday, it's your best friend. If you want to do your mashed potatoes right. in there for Thanksgiving, if you want to do kind of stews stuffing. and chilies, that's what I love about the four and a half quart slice. There's really no limitations, whether it's pasta, right. something you're going to bake, something you're going to uh, short cook, long cook, whatever it is, or if you have a lot of people to feed, it's still good enough. So it comes in blue, comes in gray, or... This is taupe in front of me. Mm -hmm. And then finally it comes in burgundy right here. Yeah. All right, let's go back and see what hey, Michael's doing. Right. So, And we got Katie here. We wouldn't be anywhere without yeah, Katie. He's doing all the heavy lifting. God for Katie. Well, look, Katie's making stuff. <laughs> so we made a, a little eggplant ragu here. Onions, oh gosh, eggplant bro. ragu. Liz, I'm gonna grab the chicken. I want you to show them these dumplings. All right, go ahead. Because the, this is like my go-to dish. I make this a lot, so. Look at this eggplant. And, and so you can do veggie. Hey, yeah, listen, you do whatever you want inside here. And I mean, look what? at the beautiful. I mean, these I'm surprised are just... Shannon hasn't showed up yet. When she sees um, dumplings, she's usually, <laughs> I know. Uh, she's usually at the ready. I mean, this is just... So all you did was just scoop a little dough in there. By the way, I, yeah. I learned a short trick a long time ago that makes life so much easier is you can go and buy biscuit dough and oh, just sure. you can just break it up and put it in there I if you mean, don't feel like you making could, your you own. Could even use a, <laughs> yeah, totally a cheater. You could even use a rotisserie chicken in here. I mean, you could make this oh a quick gosh. weeknight meal and then you've got this gorgeous pan so no one's going to know how much You've been telling me you've been making this from scratch yeah. for me on a weekly yeah, basis. You've been lying to me. She's going again. Oh, she's, she's, she's buying that little tube of dough and right. just like, oh, yeah. roll it up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Look, I I've been working so hard roasting a chicken, you've been getting the rotisserie chicken on me when I'm not looking. That is yeah. so really good. ridiculously so good, right? good. That is such comfort food. It's unbelievable. Yeah, exactly. Listen. Don't be afraid of a cast iron cookware gang out there, okay? Our price today is ridiculous. Uh, Michael and his beautiful wife were here uh, a while back. They launched their uh, their line here at HSN. It's been extremely popular. They're all customer picks already because you know this guy. He's not going to put his name on anything unless it's good. And same with his wife. From, the, from both sides of the coin, you're getting beautiful cookware that really, really works. It's $20 off. It's free shipping. And this is cast iron. It's not cheap to ship this because it's, it has some weight. It's substantial. If you're looking for feather light -like cookware, don't buy this. That's not what it's about. <laughs> feather light -like cookware is garbage, and you're going to burn your food, and it, that's the $12 fry pan you yeah. buy from the right. closeout store. Right. But you get a couple of months out of yeah, it. And then you, you get rid of it. Like yeah. I said, this is a this lifetime pan. This, you know, exactly. people always want. Um, 
pressure cookers, slow cookers, all the stuff. Yeah. This was a slow cookers before they ever existed. Right. You right. put it in the oven, you set I the know. oven at 225, you, you yeah. walk away, right. you right. come back five hours later and it's right. ready. Yeah. This, yeah. Is, this is Sunday after this. church, you put this yeah, in at a dinner. Absolutely. Right, and you're good. Yeah. I know. When Liz was getting that rotisserie chicken and fooling me for all these years, <laughs> I threw the chicken in the <laughs> oven. Sorry, Liz. This is great because you could roast in it too. Yeah. So watch this for comfort. Look at how tender it is because you roast it. All the juices. It holds all the juices. Yeah, I mean. And then what I'm going to do, talking about comfort food, this is a little Midwestern, Eastern Euro comfort food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made a little paprikash sauce. Oh my. So we're going to put the paprikash sauce my right favorite. in that pan oh. that the chicken cooked in. So all those little goodies and bits are at the bottom. Finish sour it with some sour cream. cream. Yes. And instead of doing like a classic chicken paprikash, we just did a roasted chicken paprikash. And all in one pan, and there's your I can drop the whole chicken right back in there. It's going to go in with all those juices in the gravy. And we are in so a good. very, very Notice, happy place. Notice, gang, too, every, all our burners are on low or medium. Once it, the, the cast iron comes up to temperature, it distributes that heat very evenly. So you don't have to worry about hot spots or anything like that. It's like, I mean, heck, even if you're cooking a steak, Use this rather than that that crappy you know stainless pan that's real oh, thin. 100%. Yeah. You, you yeah. sear a, a filet mignon or, or a New York in there, and, and then you can make your little pan juices and all that stuff. It's I would use so this great. in a heartbeat. You know what else I love too is is look at the Cut even that. heat because we're sitting here, we're talking, we're cooking, we're goofing around. We've had this on medium heat going. And look at the heat is wow. so evenly distributed. Yeah. Look what happens to the I chicken. Mean, look at the, I mean, perfectly crispy, crunchy that, that's chicken. That's rust on a, right. on, a, yeah. on a chicken thigh. Look at that. Doesn't stick to the pan, releases Beautiful. right out. And be like, look, yeah. when, as a chef, the thing that we have that a lot of people never had at home is we have all the toys. Right. So when Liz right. and I came up with the line, we're like, let's make the toys affordable. Yeah. You know, when you come mm -hmm. into our restaurants and you're like, how do they feed 300 people and sure. make it look so easy? Sure. It's because we have the right stuff. Right. Yeah. And, and you know? you're not, and you're not really, you're not, you're not slamming us with the, with the price because you know, and let, let me tell you, I know you guys know and appreciate very, very, very incredibly good line quality cookware that comes from France. Right. Yeah. We know what it is. It's about four times the price yeah, if you want to buy it. <laughs> if you want to get that. Yeah. And they listen, if you want to do that, so that's fine. True. But I'm like, yeah. Michael, this is the same. You make it the same. Right. right. I mean, the, well, th those are the pans that inspired us. Right. Those Absolutely. are the pans that right. we have bought. Those are the pans we asked for for wedding yeah. gifts. Those uh, are the yeah, pans yeah. We gave us wedding gifts. We can't gifts. afford them, but you somebody know? else can. But, but yeah, so it, it was like when, when we came up with this, we wanted to say, all right, well, where's a pan that, that are the ones that we always wanted, but now people could afford to have? Yeah. Exactly. It's ideal. All right, remember the colors that they come in and you see user friendly you know what i love is when i watch when, when you watch chefs with great cookware you notice they don't panic it's like when you when you're selling something cheap everybody's like oh we have to do it at the right time because it burns it does this oh, yeah, we're, we're just, just relaxing go to the and, oven pull it out right yeah. and you and once you take this to your table too this is gonna stay yeah. good and warm it's not gonna <laughs> Listen, i want to show that's good and warm look at it's, it's holding breathing. the heat you show it's this? holding the heat that, that is, is crazy. that heat is the heat is just circulating even right through. through it's coming right up through the chicken that's, that's insane, insane. That's all right beautiful. everybody so uh, i wish we had more time um but we're gonna we're gonna move a little bit we've got michael also has some wonderful tools that uh actually he and liz have also created stylish but still very functional and and michael you were right too though you have access to a lot of different types of stuff to be right. able to cook better and i think that's a lot of the mistakes people make when they don't know how to cook at home is they cheap out or they don't know what to buy. I mean, it's just like if you're a mechanic, the first right. thing you do, you buy really good tool set. It's the most yeah. expensive thing you do. And then life is easy. So that's what we're talking that's about. So hey, true. Michael, talk about this fry pan. You've got a cast iron fry pan too. A fry pan is great. Like when you were saying eggs earlier, yeah. I do mm -hmm. all my breakfast in here. Okay. I, uh, you you want to sear a, a great ribeye steak in there, strip steak, filet, great for searing meats if you don't have time to get out to the grill. It's yes. raining or snowing outside. Um, you know, in Cleveland, I just shovel my way the path and I That's go out. That's all you gotta and, do. Well, you don't have to do that everywhere. No, no, um, no. So it's, a, it's another great versatile pan um, that you could do anything that you could do in a typical sauteuse, but it's gonna hold the heat better. You can yeah. go in and out of the oven with it to the stove top, to the table. I love the big helper yeah. handle on that as well. And again, oven safe. Remember, there's no right. limitations with the cookware these guys developed. A lot of other cookware 
where you have to babysit. A lot of them you'll see oven safe to 325. What, what good is that? No. Oven safe to 325. Right. No, you could put this in a ripping oven. And like yeah. I said, I like to go outside on the grill with it. Yeah. yeah. Because it, it just works so good. All right, so uh, many of you have seen uh, Michael's show on, uh, I think, is it Cooking Channel that does Burgers, Brew, and Q? Burgers, Brew, and Q is Cooking Channel, yeah. yep. And so it, I, in a lot of those recipes, a lot of the inspiration, Michael has taken and made uh, some great recipes. Talk about the book for a second. Well, this is a book. It's Playing with Fire. So all we're doing is it's cooking with live fire, whether it's a grill, um, whether it's your fireplace, whether you love to smoke. Uh, Liz and I have a, a barbecue restaurant called Mabel's in Cleveland. Oh my um, gosh. The recipes that inspired Mabel's are in the book. Pork so it's, I mean, so yeah, yeah. The homemade bacon. I mean, homemade bacon. What's better than homemade <laughs> bacon? Um, so you know, it's it's really uh, wow. This is the story of me growing up loving to cook with live fire and, and we've worked it into a book. All right, uh, you can grab this as well. It's only $24.95. It's so entertaining and you get to learn a lot about, about Michael and his ideas and his, uh, his friends, family, all of that great stuff. Nothing like cooking with fire. So that's a great book to have. Uh, we also have uh, up to 25% off on Michael Simon Homes. So as I said, Michael's brand new to the HSN family and uh, he and his uh, beautiful wife, uh, Liz, have come up with such great ideas. Really good stuff, very home oriented stuff. You know what I mean? Not, not Try to be too fancy. It's like, why don't we give them beautiful stuff that works, that we use in our own house, you use in your restaurants. When I watch your shows, that's the that's really what you can see. It's very real, approachable. We cook real food. I you know, know like you an Iron Chef, I get crazy and fancy. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Mola, we get crazy and fancy. And but you know, when we're at home, this is how we yeah. cook. This yeah, is how simple. we. We love to entertain. Yeah. You know, Liz invites too many people. Actually, I do that. Too yeah. many people <laughs> over the house. Yeah. And then we got to cook. So this is, this is how we do it. Hey, um, one of the most underrated things in a kitchen that people think they can grab if they buy cheap is right. kitchen tongs, oh, right? I, I there are the worst tongs on the planet in some stores. So but you guys is, have yeah. good ones. Well, this is funny <laughs> because I always have a million tongs, like just traditional chef dogs and she's always trying to put them away and they don't fit anywhere and they're flipping <laughs> they're, all over the place. Right. They're so, open in the cat so she came up with this Yeah, I think it's squirrely. Yeah. <laughs> they open, you hold them up, they close, you turn them down, they open. <laughs> it is it's awesome. Great. And then they, you know, you can either leave them in a drawer or if they're right. in your, you know, little crock or whatever, yeah. but they yeah, stay closed and they're nice. No. And, and you need, need these. Again, these are really important tools to have in the yeah. kitchen, but yeah. don't buy don't buy crappy ones. I'm telling you, you're going to pay for it. You They're buy an the extension of you. They, they really, really are. You know? yeah. Tongs are the tool I use most in yeah. the kitchen. I yeah, mean, I don't think, yeah, every chef you look at, even when they're stirring, I mean, you have to have them. They have, you know, they have the, exactly. the towel in one hand, the tongs in the other, and you're right. good to go. These are also a almost perfectly rated customer pick on hsn.com. It's $14.95. I love that we discounted everything for Michael's second trip. You know, coming out, get people. We want to get you this stuff home. Everybody that's been ordering has been rating it top of the line. So that's nice. really, that's, we love that's that. why you well, do it. That's, it's everything. Yeah, right? It really is. Well, you know, cool. listen, it actually, we worked on this line for two years before we came here the first time. Yeah. So there's been a lot of work that's went into it before we got to this point. Yeah. We really, we really, really wanted to make sure they performed perfectly. So yeah. Yeah. once we got the pans, we cooked with them at home, we put them in the restaurant, we gave them to Katie. Yeah. You know, we're like, everybody beat the heck out of these things. Right. And yeah. see what happens. Right. You know, well, and, and it's beautiful because everything is coordinating, too. I mean, you know, the, all right, the colors. Right, same colors. Like, hey, Kyle, what did you say the on the color? Is it the same? Is it burgundy? Blue yeah. and burgundy, that's what we have. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have those two colors. So they right. match things, too. Right. Am I, am I coordinating? Am I? Okay? You're, am yes, I, very well. Yeah, you're all right. I mean, you want to really blue. go match. Yeah, she's got the blue gray yeah. thing going you know. on. Yeah. <laughs> $14.95 if you want to pick these up. You know, Michael had said earlier, and, and you two, you know, it's, it's about getting the right stuff, getting the right, right tools. If, if you have inferior cookware, inferior tools, and you're not a five-star chef, Mistakes are gonna are gonna the shortcuts are gonna mess you up. It's you're gonna find things that are gonna go wrong. So if you get first of all cast iron cookware, which is probably my favorite cookware on the planet, I was so glad when I saw that Michael and his wife were doing cast iron because I think it's user friendly, Agreed. it's customer friendly, mm -hmm. it's family friendly, it's Absolutely. places you serve in. And by the way, if you want, use these cold. Uh, you could easily oh, yeah. do a potato salad in oh, here. Sure. Right? And serve them. The nice thing about these two is they're they're sturdy. You know, and but they're not unwieldingly heavy. Right. Like you can move right. around with them. You've seen yeah. us grab the size, them. Move them the around. size is perfect. You know, the handles. Yeah. The, they're good for everybody's. Like right. I got giant mitts. Liz doesn't, yeah. but they're good for everybody. They're very mm -hmm. controllable. I, I love it, and and, and uh, honest, user friendly in a way that it's hard to make a mistake. It's really it, unless you really crank this and leave it alone for 20 minutes, the the heat temperature will be will it will self regulate based on the fire. So you're not going to burn stuff as often. Um, you guys also designed this three piece uh, kitchen tool set. Let's talk oh, about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do we get? 
So, you, you know, you get a little bit of everything. The things that you need in the kitchen. So you have scissors, which I love to use the scissors for, I use them to break down chickens, but you could also use them to cut fresh herbs. You could use them for- I use them for flowers. Liz uses them for flowers. <laughs> right. Um, you know, they're, 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 they're easy to use, they're easy to hold. Peeler, you know, I'm a little, a lot of what we designed, I'm unfortunately arthritic. You know, all the right. years in the kitchen and holding stuff, and so things had to be incredibly comfortable for me right. um, to use them. So we, a little bit larger, soft rubber handles for the peeler um, and for the grater, which just makes it easy for me to use. Um, yeah. And I, I think, you know, and, and we try to think of that with all the tools because sure. it's, it's an unfortunate reality of, yeah. of what happens. I hear you, brother. Yeah. We're not well, as young as we used to be. And it's something we do every day. Right. So it's right. not like, so if you're gonna, if you have, if you have something you use on, on a regular basis, buy the best you possibly can, and something that's comfortable to use as well. Uh, as I, Because I agree, you know, once you get up there in the 50s, it's like, what's going on with this? Where'd that come from? I didn't have this before. Why does that hurt? <laughs> this will make life a little bit easier. All right, so perhaps um, in addition to the cookware, one of the most important things that people need to know about is about cutlery. Yeah. And you, because there is, a lot of garbage out there on the on the marketplace. Yep. You guys put together a beautiful set. Um, three of the probably the most used knives. Yeah, right. we didn't want to do we didn't want to do the giant set where you get a bazillion knives and maybe the quality. A big giant right. block and, with yeah, all the. You know, so yeah. we're like, let's focus on making three or four great knives that people could afford. And I feel. We feel that it's all you really need in the kitchen for yeah. the most part. I've been yeah. cooking professionally for 35 years. I've never used more than these three knives. I don't know what the hell is in that block, but I have never I used know. more than yeah. these three there knives. There are some that yeah. are weird, yeah. I know. And he's particular about his knives. So. I, yeah, I have, I have, a, I have you know. a slight knife, we, you know, yeah. what, should we go obsession. Yeah, why, why don't we we'll slide over and I'll let, you, yeah, I'll let you guys do whatever you yeah, want right. to do to show them. So, um, so, so uh, yeah, let's start with, we've got the, um, the utility knife, right? Yeah, so what we have, so what we did is we did two different size chef knives. Okay. You know, so this is, I call it the Liz knife, this is the Michael knife. So one's a little bit smaller, one's a little bit larger, whatever you're comfortable with there. Okay. And then we have a serrated, and then we have, you know, our little pair. I'm using right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. so Liz, Lovely. we're gonna make a Greek salad Tomatoes. because I'm nice Greek boy, so we make nice Greek salad. Beautiful. Um, these in here. And so uh, a combination, because I think ser serrated is good for some things. Chef knife, which is, I'm like you, I use a chef knife pretty much I for everything. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I even keep them, you know, I keep them sharp enough so I can cut tomatoes with my chef knife. Right. But, right. but if you're one of those folks that's a little challenged with things that have a rind, that yeah, this is exactly. probably the And also, these are great better. for cutting sandwiches because they've got that, oh, it's yeah. like a mini bread knife. Like a little saw. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, and it's not it's a giant, nice. it's not a giant serrated. So, right. so let's go through <clears throat> why these knives are so great. First of all, I, I know uh, that you guys use German steel. German steel is the best uh, tempered, hardest, most durable steel. Yep. Uh, that's why why uh, if you see cheap knives in the in one of the big three closeout stores, that's because they're probably not German steel. Um, but but if you see a really expensive knife, you know it probably is. For us to do all three of these, I would I would pay twenty six ninety five just for the chef's knife because I think it's right. it's worth that and more. But to be able to get all three <clears throat> at this price is great. Michael, let's talk about features that you look for in a, in a knife. So you know, again. Back to the pots and pans. When I'm looking at a knife, I'm looking for a classic thing. And the first thing is, is you want the spine of the knife to run from the tip all the way to the end. So, you know, we call it a full tang in the chef world. So it means it is one piece of fluid steel all the way through. A lot of times they end mid-handle, you yeah. know? So then you're using your knife that you got for 20 bucks and all of a sudden it snaps in half. So right. that's the one thing. The other thing is there's rivets all the way through, you know, which is very, very important when you're looking at the knife. Um, and then the edge you want great, you want the nice tip, yep. and, you, and you want it to have a nice balance to yeah. it. You know, you don't want it to kind of fall over as you're using it. So it, These, again, are knives you're gonna have for a long, long time. For a time. long time, right. so yeah. it's the solid piece of steel, the full tang, it's riveted, it's a good, uh, easy, cleanable, handleable, hand, handleable. Handleable. Hand, handleable, which is <laughs> yeah. my new word that I'm gonna start using now. Handleable, I like that, that handleable, you know. I'm fine with it. It's, and it's again, a and, it, and it holds a great edge, it's that yeah. nice, hard German steel, so it could take a little bit of a beating, um, and, and it's at a price where Typically, you look at a knife like this, a chef knife, you're looking at a $100, $150 knife. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, and you can go and you can spend that kind of money, and you'll get great quality knives, and they'll last you forever. Or you can get all three of these for $26.95. Uh, um, triple rivet on the handles, as Michael said, full tang. I also, uh, the difference you can tell between a, a, a really good knife and a cheap knife is how thick the knife is. Because when you need to sharpen a knife, and don't listen to anybody, says there's really only one way to sharpen a knife. You have to, you have to remove material from the knife. Yeah, absolutely. And if you start with a skinny knife, it ain't going to last. 
Sure, you're wrong. Every time you sharpen an extra skinny knife. I've been trying to do it to myself forever. It's not working. I just, yeah. I wish it was that easy. So, so when you look and you see Liz chopping uh, parsley and stuff like that, the balance and the weight, you don't want a lightweight knife. You want a knife that's got some substance to it. Absolutely. Um, because it helps to give you control. And if you lose control, that's how people wind up cutting themselves. Or they have cheap little knives and they never sharpen them so they're well, dull. And and you they know, I always a knife that doesn't hold its edge is the one that always will cut you because yeah. you're trying to force it through right. things. So you, you have a knife that has a nice sharp edge that holds and you're in good shape. You know, yeah. same thing. The nice thing about these two is they're stainless so you don't have to worry about acidity. Yeah. You know, like some of the other knives, if they're beautiful knives, but because of the non-stainless finish, you can't, you shouldn't cut a lemon with them. Right, right. So exactly. So you can go right through with a lemon Look with this. Look how beautiful. And you can see how, and, and both these, I love that both you guys are using these and showing everybody. Listen, guys, gals, whoever is out there, get good quality cutlery. It's important. It's every bit as important as the cookware that we were showing in the cast iron. Uh, $26.90, that's $13 off. If you look at the top of the, the, the little icon there, it's all gold stars. That's because this is almost perfectly related, or, or, or uh, rated on hsn.com with good reason. Summer price. You know, this is the time to stock up. You know, you're probably going to be doing a lot of cookouts. You right. mentioned sandwiches. Right. You're going to have the perfect knives, whether you go the big, uh, the bigger chef's knife or the smaller. You, you just choose your color. We have, I think we have two colors available. So it comes, how many do we have, Kyle? Four? Okay, so what do we got? We have an array of colors. We do. We have we have oh, myriad yeah. colors. <laughs> so it comes in uh, blue, burgundy, gray, or white. Uh, I love that burgundy color. That is so sharp. And yes. they come in that great gift box. So hey, Father's Day, right? Right, right oh, great around gift. the corner. What great the gift. Heck? I'm like, right. if, if you want no, that, the, the white handle yep. too, it's a very chefy handle. Yeah, I'll yeah, see yeah. how they sell it. Like yeah. all my all my cooks and young chefs, I always give them the, the white handle chef the white knife knives, is a yeah. very very cool in the kitchen. So if you want to yeah. make your dad feel a little bit extra special, I'm going to recommend yeah. the white hand. That's right. Go the industrial yeah. kitchen yeah. looks. It looks so you look bad, like you know right. what you're doing right. in there. Right, right, right. Uh, but you get a three-piece set, and as we said, uh, Father's Day is not too far down the road if you want to be able to grab those for you. But, you know, we're, we're just starting out. Barbecue season is starting again, although I'm one of those people, I'm sure Michael and his wife are like that, <laughs> where I will dig a trench in the snow to get to the barbecue. All I don't day, care. every day. I think that's the best type of barbecue. Absolutely. you got to fight for it a little bit. I mean, bit. when else can you cold smoke a salmon? It's the perfect time of year. <laughs> exactly. But, like, as you were saying earlier, the great thing about these, Liz was doing it with the serrated, yeah. which is great, but look at the chef knife. I'm not putting any weight down on it. Yeah. And it just, it's yeah. ripping through this very ripe, soft tomato, look you know, so. You know, that's what really what you're looking for when you're getting a knife. You want it to perform yeah. with the easy it, stuff and the hard stuff. Don't you find it satisfying? It's like you don't get derailed when you have all these great tools. You're like, oh, look, that made that it's easier. So, right. so <laughs> easy. And even like the rocker blade yeah. on this is really great. Like when you're rocking, you know, when you're doing herbs and things right. like that. I mean, yeah. It just. Yeah, it's got that natural yeah, curvature yeah, exactly. in there that, that enables you, you to rock. Did you just bust out the rocker blade? She did. Look at you. So. Oh, no. Is that what I just did? I guess you did. Yeah, the big, the big thing you're driving the car with that thing. <laughs> so every knife actually will do different things for you, but it really is your best friend in the kitchen. And I love watching these two guys together because I don't get to do that very often. And, and to watch you guys doing the beautiful tomato mozzarella salad, this is what you should be doing in the kitchen with your partner, right? Having oh fun. Oh, my God. Little, uh, you know, a couple so glasses of, of Cabernet or whatever you're drinking and just relax yeah. right. and make a nice salad together, healthy cooking, um, all because you got... First of all, obviously great food. Buy fresh food. Buy organic when you can. We know we tell you all that stuff. But get yourself good, good cutlery and good cookware. Right. Look, yes. The difference is huge. I, you know, I, a little I, bit I, more on here if you don't mind. Yeah, no, load it, it up. Quite yeah. Load it yeah. up. <laughs> I, I, I think that the thing is, 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 cooking isn't as hard as sometimes people, even chefs, want to make it look. You know, yeah. it's if you have the right stuff, get the right pan, get yeah. the right knives, get the right tongs, get good utensils, you know, and all of a sudden you're in a really good place and it's fun. Like yeah, we cook right. together, we're in the kitchen together all the time cooking for friends. And some yeah, of our friends we think like I, we're crazy because we like yeah. to do it so much, but it's fun for us. And it's it not is, yeah. hard because we have the right stuff. Yeah. You know, not because we have like, you know, we're not like part of a Marvel comic book. We don't right. have superhero powers. Right. We just have good equipment. Exactly. You may, you yes. may. Uh, Liz does have superhero fun. powers. We, we don't want to, we better yeah. make sure we know that. But, uh, no, I agree with you. I think it's, it's one of those things that can be so much fun, but it can also be really frustrating if you're burning something, when people say I can't cook, I'm like, I always say, well, why? I burn everything. Well, it's because you're cooking on crap. Right. You're cooking on garbage. Go spend a little bit of money and get good stuff. Right. And you'll be amazed. It's like having your own little sous chef when you, you know, not all of us can have a Katie. <laughs> It'd be nice if we could. Everyone can have a Katie. Not Everyone can have a Katie. Maybe you can have a Katie. <laughs> Maybe you can have a Katie. <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> Sorry. If you want to call, if you want to call your four and a half quart Dutch oven Katie, that's fine. Just call it Katie. Yes. It's just, and it'll help call you. Katie. <laughs> but I'm telling you, you will have fun in 
the kitchen, and that's really what it's all about. It's about spending time with your family and friends, having a great time. And when you pull something out of the oven, not holding that, lifting that handle off, going, please, 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 no. knowing that Michael and, and his wife are there yeah. to help you. You don't have, you don't want to, you don't want to, uh, like, pray when you cook. <laughs> you, you know, you pray before right. dinner, but when the, when right. the cooking process is happening, <laughs> yeah. you, you don't want to be like, please, oh, please, please, please work, please. God, oh, yeah. please work. Yeah. Yeah. But this is what allows you to be yeah. comfortable and get you in the comfort zone. Yeah. And again, it makes cleanup super easy too, because you're going from yeah. stove top to oven to table, one pan. Look at how beautiful these knives are. And, and again, like what we said, you know, Michael could have put together a $99 uh, set. Uh, Liz could have said, let's add that, that, and it would have been $100. You know what, it's 26 for three knives. You're gonna use every Every, every day single day every so day. get the stuff that you yeah. need not the stuff that you don't uh, I'm sorry Kyle what else did you say yeah also available oh uh, Ooh, the there's last, the white handle too. yeah Michael were you talking yeah. this, now this line's a little bit bigger and we're selling it individually what do we right. want this one for so this you know I think it's just about getting the set that works best for you I always right. say you know we give you we give you the knives but you want which knives you're most comfortable with yeah so Liz is more comfortable you know with the smaller chef knife I'm more comfortable with the eight inch chef the smaller knife. one comes right. in the set this one's individual and then, yeah and then you get this as the add on and okay. then what we do is we get the add on one in a different color so yeah. then there's no confusion <laughs> Who's nice that's smart. Because <laughs> we've been together almost 30 years, but we still, yeah. that's where we draw the line. You have to have your own knife. Yeah, you can't, don't say, do you have my knife? Is that my yeah. knife you're using? Uh, anyway, the 8-inch, which I, I, again, this is this, it's the, my, my most comfortable knife that I use at home. I love that 8-inch knife because yeah. you can do everything with it. Um, smaller hands, maybe you want to use the smaller one, but grab this in addition. It's only $17.95. I have one chef's knife, and I'm sure Michael's got more that are more expensive. That was like $150 for one yeah, yeah. knife. Right. Great knife, German knife, you know the name, but you know why pay for the name? if you can get it from Michael. Uh, the tongs are still available. Those are only $14.95. You get a two pack of those and they've got that unique closing system so you don't have to worry about them popping open and poking your eye out or anything like that. And they'll fit in the drawer. Another one of the customer picks, it everything these guys bring is customer picks. That's such a great sign because uh, it shows that the quality is there and you are already loving it. Let me tell you, the most versatile piece of cookware you will ever buy is this four and a half quart. You can do your meatloafs, your chickens, your lasagnas. You can do soups, stews, chilies, roast a fish in there. Use it cold and put salads in there, whatever, because remember, it holds that temperature, hot or cold. Universal great piece, helper handles. It's it's only $59.95 on sale today with free shipping. You two are wonderful. Oh, it's always good to see us. you both. We Love working. We got the yes. feet. Yeah. Was good. Yeah, we had a blast. Anyway, and you guys will be up, they'll be up throughout the day, so I've got a couple more shows, so make sure you check out uh, Liz and Michael's stuff. It really is one of a kind, number one. All right, we're going to head outside. We're going to do some cooking outside. Just stick around. Yay. <laughs> Discover the newest way to create a style all your own. The HSN Style Edit. A curated look at the season's best, most original finds for every part of your life. We decode the trends, share tips and how-tos, and give you the inspiration you need to style it your way. It's the joy of the hunt and the thrill of the find. Your unique style is here. Discover it now, exclusively at hsn.com. I'm Joy. I'm a mother. That's first and foremost. I'm curious, always curious. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, and I'm an inventor. So when I'm designing product, it's all about making everyday life simpler. I guess that's just how I look at things. I find a lot of inspiration from just living my everyday life. And I think, boy, every day's a gift. Make joyful discoveries every day. It's Project Central around here. With just a little imagination, some of this, a bit of that, the possibilities are endless. Whether you're just getting started or you know your way around a glue gun, we have the supplies and ideas to help get it done. Say YES to DIY at HSN. It smells incredible out here. We're cooking on a griddle 
doors, and this is Mark Gill. Of course, he's How cooking. Are hey, <laughs> all right, we've got a lot of people out here. Mark, do you think you can? You think you can serve everybody? I, I think with we got everybody covered. Grill? Pretty sure we got everybody covered. Yep. Oh my goodness, it smells incredible. <laughs> Just so you know what our offer is today, you're going to save sixty dollars. We'll ship it to you for free, twenty-seven dollars and ninety-nine cents. And if you're wondering, what is it that I'm saving sixty dollars <laughs> on? This is what we're talking about: outdoor it. cooking at its best. This is it. Oh my goodness. This is cooking without the compromise, you guys. Oh. This is Blackstone. This is anything, anytime, anywhere on a 22 inch slab of cold rolled steel that you won't believe how much fun it is to cook on, guys. Remember grandma's cast iron? Remember that and how good it was? Yeah. Well, that's what you're gonna get here because every single time you cook on this, you're gonna leave your family's signature behind. This grill is gonna learn the type of food that your family loves. And if you're like me and you're a grill guy, here's the first thing I want you to know. This is everything your grill can do and a thousand things it can't. And if you're like me and you'll brave the elements and you'll shovel through the snow to get sure. those crisscross lines on your steak, well, watch this. Guys, this isn't one grill mark. That's the oh. whole grill mark. This is why people love the Blackstone. Look at that crust, you guys. You're gonna be able to do things on this machine that you can't do on other machines. That, Mark, that looks like that steak that you go to that, ha that uh -huh. steak house and it's like, you know, 60 bucks for a steak. Exactly. They serve it on a super hot plate because you're getting that incredible caramelization. Yep. This is, how can you cook steak and <laughs> veggies? Don't you need a different exactly. sort of a temperature? Well, yeah, I'll tell you what here. This is dual cooking zone control. There's two burners on this. That means there's two heat zones. So I can cook on one side, I can heat on the other. And if you notice that, I just cooked right on the flat top. I mean, well, cut, you cut right, cut on, right on the flat top, guys. This grill is tough as nails. So when it comes time to be able to start making creations that you've never dreamed possible, this is the way to do it, you guys. Like I said, this is anything, anytime, anywhere mm. on 22 inches of cold rolled steel that you can treat like it owes you money. You're going to start creating eating dishes that you've never created before. All these vegetables, imagine if we tried to do this on a regular grill, you know where they'd be? Oh, uh, Right the down on the fire, right, exactly, yeah. guys. Have a look here, let's clear the last off. And when it comes time for cooking capacity, no joke, 22 inches is gonna be enough for one or two of you in the summertime, or if you've got an army to feed, this is gonna do it, guys, look at that. And we just That's got started. a ton. <laughs> I love it. Well, what are we gonna do as soon as we get it home? Now, we're not, this isn't, this doesn't plug in. It actually, you can use it outside, or if you have an RV, right. I know people love it with the RVs. So it comes with the adapter hose, and you just, what do we just hook it on to propane? So what you're gonna get, and let's go wander over here to breakfast here, which is one of my favorite yes, things to please. use this with. Yeah, here's what you're gonna do, you guys. As soon as you get it home, you're gonna hook it up to your 20 gallon propane tank with the accessory hose that we're gonna give you. So here's what's Excellent. cool about that. You can hook that right up to the small tank, like you buy at the store. Sure, like the little one pounder. Right, uh -huh. or we're actually gonna give you what you need to hook it up to the big one, which I love. Wow, that's incredible. So all you're gonna do is just put that on the propane tank. So whether you're grilling in your own backyard or you're an RV or you got a boat, yep. um, we've got some people who love it. Um, this one says, I just have to read this review. If I have to cook, I wanna cook outdoors. <laughs> this griddle right. makes it so simple and even easier to clean up. Love, love, love it. And you mentioned cast mm -hmm. iron skillet. So right. do you, you cure it like a cast Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. And when we come back here, guys, have a look. This is one of the number one uses for this product. People love <laughs> breakfast on their Blackstone. Oh. Now, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Oh, we all know goodness, that one, that. right? <laughs> so much bacon, you guys. And the potatoes. Imagine this at your next tailgate. You're camping your RV, like you said. And when it comes time to start this grill up for the very first time, you're gonna season it, like you were asking. Okay. And what seasoning means, just like my grandma's cast iron skillet, is that very first time, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna put a thin coat of oil on it. And what that's gonna do, it's, it's gonna fill all the little hills and valleys of that cold rolled steel, and it's gonna make it basically a skating rink. <laughs> okay. So have a look here. The grease management system is all towards the back, which is terrific. You're never putting the grease towards you. All you do is send it straight to the back like that. So we're gonna use our breakfast kit to make an unbelievable breakfast for everybody. I love all it. All right. Love it, love so it, love it. So once you use, I mean, 
and we've got the bacon grease on there. I leave uh -huh. that to cook everything in. But that's it. Great once thing to season you cure it, it, you don't have to spray it every time. Nope. It just no, gets that like nonstick. Because I'm noticing there's a big difference between what that looks like and what it comes with. But that's that <laughs> seasoning that well, you even it said it kind of customizes to your own family. Exactly. Taste. When it comes out of the box, take a picture of it because that is the cleanest it's ever going to be. <laughs> and <laughs> the cleanest ever should be. I like that. <laughs> exactly. And you're right. The more you use it, the darker it gets. That's why it's not called Silverstone, Cleanstone, Diamond Stone, Happy Stone. It's called Blackstone. Blackstone. That's what we're all about. And by the way, if you're a pancake fan, I love this. Ooh. Watch this, you guys. I don't care which cookware set you go with, tritanium, quantanium, heptanium, titanium, whatever nonstick you love. Bottom line is, the biggest pan in that set is only gonna hold about three pancakes. Mm. So one of the things that I love about Blackstone, we're just gonna do a few here, is you can literally get dozens of pancakes on at the same time, which is so cool. And we're gonna go ahead and give this a little bit of a, a raspberry swirl. And what's neat about these, Shannon, oh, is with this, because of the flat top and the way it works and the way you've got it seasoned, even sugary, sugary stuff like that syrup, once it gets flipped, doesn't matter. Blackstone doesn't, doesn't care, man. <laughs> this is one of the best experiences you'll ever have. It, it really is cooking without the compromise. I love it. And what you saw right there, that little the pancake dis dispenser and the little egg circles, um, that all comes along with the bacon press in the Blackstone breakfast in kit, the breakfast kit yeah. as well. That's item number 551130. It's $26.99. If you love a pancake, exactly. um, they're like perfectly circle and perfectly right. designed. Not like the ones I'm making. <laughs> well, they started out that way. They started out pretty good. Uh -huh. So, guys, here's what I want you to see as I take these rings off, okay? Um, you know, a lot of times people get a griddle and they'll worry about the sticking and they'll worry about this and they worry about that. Notice the only thing it's sticking to is the actual rings we didn't spray it. So, guys, watch this. That is literally skating Ooh. around like it's on ice. And when you go ahead and season this for the first time, that's what you're going to get. So, if you want nonstick, if you want perfect, if you want fun, if you want tasty, if you want one of the best mm -hmm. social products that you'll ever have, this is definitely the way to go. Because when you fire this up, Boy, do people gather. I like what you said there, Mark. One of the best social products mm -hmm. you can get. Food brings people together. Oh. We know that. We all gather around the table and we gather in the kitchen. But instead of gathering in a hot, steamy kitchen, you can be cooking literally a feast for the entire neighborhood outside. Exactly. And I know after we had the, the hurricane, I talked to people and they said, you know, I was cooking for everybody on my Blackstone in my backyard because I was nobody had power. Nobody we had, had propane. Exactly. We were making eggs and pancakes. You can't do that on a grill. <laughs> exactly. it would Please don't do that on a grill. Um, eggs on a grill, not so good. But look at the feast this reminds me of that diner that you go it's to what it's all about it's that diner experience you guys it's about being able to do stuff at home that you've never been able to do before when it comes to blackstone boy breakfast on the blackstone is out of this world so mm. just really quick here let me show you another fun this? one that you can do because when you're camping there's a little bit of sausage in there when you're camping when you're out and about when you're doing your thing um, you know you're very limited with what you're able to do because you have a grill with all the little slots and slates sure. and so I double dog dare you to take that grill that you take camping and try and make an omelet. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Watch this. The Blackstone and omelets is so fun because you have so much real estate and so much area to work in, Shannon. Isn't that cool? So let's get that on there just like that. Oh. And we'll get the sausage heating up and we'll get some cheese melting. So guys, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, brunch, snacks we're gonna show you, or whether you wanna take this on the road with you, the Blackstone is absolutely the way to go. And you know, the community that's built around this online, the recipes that get shared, the mm -hmm. passion that people have for their Blackstones and the things that they can cook on it, man, it's so much fun. It's great. And you're not heating up your indoors with, you know, with cooking. I mean, I couldn't even cook that many eggs in any sort of pan <laughs> that I've got. I've got tons of them from HSN here. Right. You're saving $60 today. It's $27.99. And the sky's the limit as yep. to what you can cook. We're talking breakfast, lunch, desserts, dinner, you know, steak and chicken and fish and everything all on the same grill, especially because it's got the dual zones. So exactly. you can cook something on a lower temp and something on a higher temp, exactly. and it still cooks it nice and evenly. And that's what's cool about it. You can go ahead and do those uh, separate cool uh, cooking zones. So you can cook on one side, you can warm on the other, mm. you can steam on one side and sear on the other. Bottom line, guys, when it comes time to have fun with cooking, and that's what cooking is. You mentioned it's meant to bring people together. Yeah. It's also meant to be fun and inventive and experimental and getting to the point where you're so comfortable
comfortable with a piece of equipment and you know it so well and it knows you mm -hmm. so well that even your mistakes taste great. <laughs> <laughs> even your mistakes taste great. So what you're getting today is the big 22 inch gas griddle. It's a gas griddle. You just get one of the little propane tanks at the yep. gas station or whatever you're using. Just switch it over from your grill because here's the thing that I hear for so much from the Blackstone is I used to use my grill. Right. Now I just keep my I keep my propane tank hooked up to That's my Blackstone because you, you can do everything you can on do it. Everything from breakfast to lunch to dinner. So here is just a couple of nice <gasps> quick oh, omelets there, you guys. You know what? You saw us do that live. I love a What's little bit that? of sauce on there and a little bit of hot mm. sauce. There we go. And guys, that's what we're talking about every morning. Let me go ahead and open that up, Shannon. Ooh. There we go, because this is what it is. It's about that perfect melted ooey gooey cheese, the sausage that you go and put a little bit of a char on on the grill. I'm telling you, boy, that wow. is the way that I love to eat at Ooh. home. And you can put this anywhere. Now, it's portable, but this isn't, I mean, this is a solid grill. So you're not gonna carry it from place to place all over the place with you, but you're gonna put it, I mean, you can put this in your RV, put it outside. You can put this on a table outside. You can put it on your deck. Look at how this is, unlike, unlike anything else, to cook those little vegetables that would fall through the grate. That's incredible, and that's what it's about. I'm always trying to get my kids to eat healthy, but nothing tastes like veggies on the grill. And usually all I can cook on the grill is corn, right? Corn <laughs> on the cob. You can even cook, cook corn off the cob I on love this it. griddle. I love it. So guys, have a look here. And I'm going to wander over to this machine in a second because I want to break it down for you a little bit. Mm. Wiki, wiki. Guys, look at this. <laughs> yep. When it comes time for that authentic diner experience, you have it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give these guys a little bit of a stir, just like that. All right, we'll do it one more time. There we go. And I'm gonna put this off to the side here, and I'm gonna put it on warm, and I'm gonna let our meat get a little bit more seared, just like that. We'll put it on medium. So follow me back over here to the empty machine. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to let you know exactly what you're going to get when you get it home, okay? Yes, this is the original. Yeah, these other ones didn't this look is like it. those. Look, look how clean it is. <laughs> <laughs> Only one. So look this Only clean. one. So let me go underneath here, guys. Have a look. This is the real deal. We're not gonna mess around with you on this and give you a couple of little straight burners and hope that everything heats up. You have two H burners for maximum coverage, separate individual lighting piezo things. I think ah, that's how you say it, right? I think that's and it. Before I put this down, do me a favor, and I didn't tell you I was gonna do this. Ah. Go ahead and take that out of my hands. <laughs> Right. That's Isn't that serious, something? That's like the cast iron skillet on steroids. <laughs> exactly. This is 22 inches of cold rolled steel. Ooh. Guys, this is going to last you year after year, season after season. Let's talk about grease management. There it is. I love it. Used to be in the front. Didn't love it. Now it's in the back. Love it again. Everything goes right to the back. You push it right in. It's beautiful. And we're not going to charge you 15 bucks for this guy, all right? Out of the box, you're going to get what you need for those little one or two pound propane tanks. Right. You can take it tailgating just like that. We used to charge $14.95 for this extension hose so you could put it on your 20 gallon propane tank. Now it's all on us, guys. Perfect individual controls, individual burners. The stainless steel is beautiful. It's easy to clean. I love it. I'm going to grab some burgers. All right. So all you're going to do is pop that hose into your propane tank and get to grilling. Get, get to, to grilling. grilling. Get to cooking anything that you want. And when put the fun back in cooking, right? Yep, exactly. Oh, my gosh. How many burgers did you even do here? And with the cheese on it. Right. Again, and with the cheese on it. don't try that on your grill at home. I you don't want it. cheese on top of all of the exactly. uh, burner mechanisms. Holy cow. Wow. That looks incredible. Yeah, it's great, and I'm even trying to do the whole A free burger in one. Burgers. I can't see how this is going to go well for much longer. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. I'm just going to walk standing Woo. back. I'm yeah. watch this Out of the one. splatter zone. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> let me walk it over here, you guys. Mm -hmm. That's what we're talking about. All the great accessories to make the job easier. You know, I heard Chef Michael Simon with Guy say that one of the reasons that they do so much in their restaurant in such a short amount of time is because they have the right tools, right? Sure. Well, when you've got the right tools in the backyard, woo, mm. can you ever up your game? By the way, this scraper is in the accessory pack. Great to use to clean your grill with. Grease management's at the back, which I love. So let's get a few dishes started here, and we'll get our Philly cheesesteak. Now, Mark, is that all we're going to do to clean it is just scrape it off? Yep. That's exactly. it. You don't have, so you don't have to burn it off or scrub it off? Or... Uh, the scrubbing, no. Okay. For your final clean for the day, what I love to do is while it's hot, use water. We all know from oh, our okay. steaming presentations here on HSN that water is a terrific yeah. cleaner, right? Especially steaming water. So while your grill is hot, 
just go ahead and put some of that on. That's all you really need to do. All right, that's all it. Right. It'll loosen everything up, and then, but it'll keep, it'll keep the non-stick that you that you've already cured it with. Exactly okay. right. Exactly right. Let's get a little bit of this on. Okay. There. Are, did you just put cheese on top? Oh, of we're a gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun here. Let me tell you. A couple little bit of bacon. Gonna keep things healthy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? And what else can we put on here just for fun? We got some room. Let's put a sausage on there. There we go. Now, come on next door here, guys. You know what? The reason that I love to do these presentations mm. is because I ask people, you know, how do you like to travel, man? How do you like to get around? Car, boat, bus, train? Or are you sure. like so many people and you do it through the shows that you watch on the food channels and networks and all that kind of yeah. stuff, right? That's what a lot of us do. So the cool thing about this flat top is you now have the chance to recreate some of these incredible dishes that you've only ever seen on TV, that they've only ever made famous by having to leave the city that you're in. And a Philly cheesesteak, let me tell you right now, is absolutely one of them. All right, so here's right. what we're gonna do. On this side, some people like it with a little bit of provolone. So let me go ahead. Would you mind doing me a favor? There's no. a, a dome right over there that Tracy's gonna uh -huh. grab you uh -huh. that I need oh, real yeah. quick here. Mm -hmm. So when you're in the diner, one of the ways that they, they melt the cheese and get everything done is they have a dome. We've got one available for you. So we'll go ahead, put that right on like that. Was that just water? That That's just a little bit of water. So here, guys, it. when you hear with or without in Philly, that means with Cheese Whiz or without Cheese Whiz. So we're going to do a little one with. So watch what we do here, guys. And I love that you can do this on this flat top. Again, there's always been that argument. Who's got the best Philly cheese steaks? The guy in that corner, the guy in that corner. Mm. You know what? I finally have an answer. Whatever your address is, <laughs> that's where the best Philly cheesesteaks are, you guys. That's the real deal. Love Every camera that. guy just got real hungry. Yeah, and like I'll take wit and wit out. <laughs> wit and wit out. Uh, and remember, yeah. mm, remember our provolone? That's I heard so the little cool. gasp there. Cue yeah, that. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> because you can't do that on your grill. I, you know can't what? do it. I, I keep comparing this to my grill. I, I feel like I should stop comparing it to my grill and start there comparing it to every... Love it. I, I mean, honestly, everything that you've got in your kitchen, now you can cook outside. Exactly. And I love that little easy cleanup. It's just got that little hole in the back, so you just pop it right back there. It's there all goes. gone. It's just that professional diner experience. So whether or not you want that thin T-bone steak and eggs that at any other restaurant or time of day you'd send back because <laughs> mm. it's so thin, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, our cheese is getting ready over there. We're almost done. Let's get an egg on there for our steak and eggs. And you had mentioned, uh, you know, the odors. Well, I'll tell you, boy, if you love doing things like fish, scallops, veggies, yeah. oh, this is the grill to do it on, let me tell you, because all those odors that you cook with in the house, problem is... They stay in the house. <laughs> oh, now they get to, you still get to enjoy it. You get to, you get to enjoy the scent. It's exactly. the odor after you've eaten it, right? That we can't stand. So exactly right. Let Mother Nature take care of all of that. That's <laughs> the best. All you right. know, I do want to warn everybody on this. It's a big customer pick because it really has reinvigorated so many people's cooking and it takes the place of your griddle, um, but really Ooh, expands what it can do. Uh, we're very limited in the amount that we have and we don't have plans to bring this back. Um, so what we've got right now is what we've got. So if you're looking at it this morning, you're thinking, you know what, that'd be really cool. I've got a party coming up. This would be perfect for it. Or I just want to be able to make this. Cheese disc. Watch this, you guys. Dog. So a this is our disc, is zippity doo dog. You take your oh. grilled sausage and hot dog. You sandwich it in your little uh, crispy cheese taco. Bring it right over to the bun. Oh my gosh. Just like that. That cheese is going to crunch. Oh. We'll add a little bit more to melt and some white onions. Better. And there it is, you guys. Your perfect crispy cheese hot dog that you can only do on this. Now we're also going to go ahead and make a pretty exciting cheeseburger here. Just like that. And again. And you stuck an egg inside that. <laughs> there's an egg you inside that You can't do an egg one. on your grill outside. Here we go. We're going to put that on top and let's go ahead and grab our lid again because I'll tell you guys it's all about that experience. Recreating that fun. You know what I mean? So while we're doing that, let's go ahead and build up our California burger right mm. here. So we've got our burger itself. You know what? It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be tough. It just has to be fun. Here is our, whoop, Ooh, our grilled, grilled avocado, avocado right there. And a little bacon on top. 
I love that, guys. How's that for a fun mm. summertime burger? Don't you love it? Yeah, mm. and, it, and it got you out of the house, oh, right? Go. A summertime burger in the house, no thank you. Right. This gets you outside, Whoop. right where we want to be, starting up. right about now. All so get right. this on, we'll ship this to you for free. We wanted to remind you that not only are you saving $60 today, every single piece of equipment that you're love seeing it. Mark use today, from love the spatulas it. to the sprayers to love the it. pancake um, dispensers, yep. are also available here exactly. as well. So oh my gosh, that seriously <laughs> is like restaurant at home, right <laughs> there. The Why ever go to a restaurant? You're gonna save so much money and so much time. Just cook it at your own house. I and love here's it. a here's a cool thing. Watch this. No stick. Even salmon skin, you guys. Wow. No matter how you love it. The Blackstone is going to deliver. A little bit of that on top. Guys, enjoy your Blackstone. Get it home. Try it. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, if you want the cover for your Blackstone griddle, we do have that available. And all of the accessories are very, very limited. So if you want that protective cover, $19.95 available. Item number 551014 for you. So add that one in. Might as well just protect your investment because you're going to have this for years to come. We also have the griddle accessories toolkit. It comes with a spatula, the percolated spatula perforated spatula <laughs> scraper two of the liquid dispensers so you can steam that cheese just like you saw mark and this one even has a little recipe sampler book with eight recipes that one is only 29.95 on three flex the three flex expires tonight this so take advantage of that we've got that breakfast cooking kit as well for um 26.99 and so we'll show you we're gonna show them the breakfast kit Ooh. All right, love I love it. the perfectly round pancakes that you can get with that pancake dispenser. And then the eggs and the bacon crust. So your bacon is perfectly cooked and crisp. That's love the that. best secret for crispy, crunchy bacon. Um, you can even on this, have you ever put sugar on bacon and caramelized it oh, like that? Oh, sugar and maple syrup mm. is the way to go, boy, let me tell you. <gasps> I see incredible. Tim Wilkins in the wings there. I know he eats his fair share of uh, chunky cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I how he bulks up for competitions, right? <laughs> Thank you for joining us on HSN Today. Thank you, Mark. I, I can't even choose where to start. That's I how you'll it. feel when you get your Blackstone. Thanks for joining us on HSN Today. <laughs> um, don't go anywhere because Guy is up next um, on At Home. And all next week, we've got great HSN Today for you um, starting Monday. What do we have Monday, Kyle? Well, more HSN today. Oh, Clever Kitchen Solutions on Monday. So that'll be really fun. We're cooking up more for you um, all week long. So definitely take advantage of that. All right. And Guy ate in the kitchen, and now he's going to be presenting all of your at-home items. Love it. <laughs> hey, everybody, and welcome. This is our at-home show. I'm exciting. Today at home, we're going to get you ready for summer entertaining. We got all